Did you know a material the size of a sugar cube can have the surface area of a football field? That's the power of Metal Organic Frameworks, or MOFs, and they just won the 2025 Nobel Prize in Chemistry. MOFs are like molecular sponges, they're made by linking metal atoms with organic molecules, forming tiny adjustable cages that can trap gases or liquids, think of them as designer holes built with chemistry. Three scientists made this possible, Richard Robson, the pioneer. In the late 1980s, he first showed how metal ions could be connected by organic molecules into repeating 3D frameworks. His early structures were unstable, but he laid the foundation for what would later become MOFs. Contribution Invented the idea of linking metal nodes and organic bridges into open frameworks. Susumu Kitagawa, Japan, the experimenter. He proved that these frameworks could absorb and release gases. Showing dry nases dam, wa nases dasin nam, show they were porous and flexible, not rigid. Kitagawa's work demonstrated that MOFs could actually breathe expanding or shrinking as molecules moved in and out. Contribution. Discovered that MOFs can act like sponges for gases, confirming their practical potential. Omar M. Yagi, USA. The architect. He developed MOFs that were stable, modular, and designable, creating materials such as MOF5. He introduced reticular chemistry, a method to design frameworks, atom by atom, for specific tasks, like CO2 capture or water harvesting. Contribution, turned MOFs into a powerful customizable technology for real-world use. Why does it matter for real life? MOFs can help solve major global challenges, capture CO2 from the air or factory emissions, fight climate change, pull water from dry air, fresh water in deserts store hydrogen and methane, cleaner fuels, filter pollutants and toxins, cleaner environment, deliver drugs safely, better medicine design, their chemistry's answer to climate, water, and energy challenges. In short, MOFs turn chemistry into solutions for the planet. Robson imagined it, Kitagawa proved it, Yagi perfected it. Together, they built materials that could help save our planet.